it's me Dawn and today I am going to be doing an updated hair care video. Now, <clears throat> I don't remember when the last time my last hair care video was made or posted for you guys, but, um, and I don't really know what's on that video. I don't, I haven't really looked back to watch any of those because like usually I'll watch them right after I film them and then I load them up and then they're just out there for you guys and I don't ever like <clears throat> look at them. I think I filmed a fall, winter, and a spring, summer video, but all of the stuff that I did during that time out the window because like I literally just I mean it's just too much for me literally I've gotten so lazy that I I, I just no this is a different this is I mean it's not different because there's a lot of stuff that stays the same <clears throat> but it's just lazier you know it's more lazier for me and it's more um convenient for me to do it this way because it's just it's just better for me. I'll take more time on my face than I do my hair anymore, if that makes sense to anybody. And it used to be the other way around. So, <laughs> so um, as you guys know, I, I haven't been using any kind of heating tool on my head, on my hair, because obviously it's just very bad for your hair. And I've noticed a huge significant difference in two years compared to when I was straightening it and blow drying it and all that fun jazz. I just, I couldn't do it. <clears throat> and plus my hair is naturally straight, and straight anyway. So what was the whole point and straightening and straight hair for? You're just gonna make it more damaged, if that makes sense. <clears throat> um, and then when I curled, I usually scrunched anyway. I scrunched my hair or I used rollers. And now I'm using, and if you wanna check out a curly hair, heatless curly hair result, result. Um, just check out my um, Instagram at dawn dot, or not dawn, I'm sorry, glitter dot mama with two M's. Um, <clears throat> because um, I have a really awesome curly hair picture of me and that was with foam rollers. So yeah. Um, the next thing that I don't do is trim my hair as often as a lot of people probably do. And the only reason is because I was doing it back in the day and I realized my hair wasn't growing and <clears throat> I put two to two together that make, maybe it's because I keep trimming my hair every six weeks to two months, you know, six weeks, six to eight weeks because of some hairdresser told me a long time ago that I needed to do that every day few months you know now I do it every six months to a year just kind of depending on how damaged and crazy my hair has gone through or what what I have put through my what type of hell I put my hair through sorry I can't believe I'm stumbling over words it's making me mad now <clears throat> oh, but I'll get over it I like always like I always do um so so yeah I I yeah, I just, I don't cut my hair as often or trim my hair as often. I just recently did because I did bleach my hair. So, um, the bleach kind of destroyed my hair at the ends. Um, <clears throat> but, but yeah, um, as far as like dyeing is concerned, obviously I bleached my hair. So I can't really say I don't dye my hair anymore. Cause like, I think last year I said I don't dye my hair and that was just because I needed to build up, um, I needed to make my hair more healthier if that makes sense or I needed to like stop altogether and just give my hair a break from all of the dye and of course <clears throat> I'm back. I do that. I'm just weird that way. Um, but I mean you can obviously like if you want your hair more healthier obviously you can cut the dyeing out completely but I I mean this is like the most extreme thing that I ever do to my hair let's just put it that way is doing this ombre look um <clears throat> I've been wanting to do this for a while now but I wanted to for you know kind of get my hair to like chill out for a little bit and and not have any kind of dye on it at all because it, it I went through hell trying to get back to my natural hair color so you know yeah so um 
Yeah, the next thing that I do is like, obviously I just do what I normally do as far as like shampoo and conditioning. Um, I do switch up my shampoos a lot. I have at least two different kinds of shampoo and conditioner sets in my shower at all times because I will go like a week or two <clears throat> and then switch over and just go back and forth until I don't have those anymore. And then I go to the next and then I go to the next and then I go to the next. So, you know, cause my hair gets like, gets used to it. It gets really, really oily. Okay. So another thing that I do is I deep condition. Um, that is very important to deep condition once a week, at least, especially in the winter time when it's more drier and colder, you don't want your hair to just get very brittle and dry. And it, it's not a pretty sight. Let's just put it that way. Trust and believe me. I've seen my hair that way. Um, <clears throat> But also when you're conditioning or you're putting any kind of moisture in your hair, you want to go from like the bottom of your ear, like the highest is the bottom of your ear all the way down. You don't want to touch your roots because obviously if you're a greasy grease head like me, you have a lot of oil in your hair and you produce a lot more oil than normal. And that's just normal. That's like my dad has it. My brother's has it. It's just something that we normally have. It just runs in my family. It's hereditary. Yeah, <clears throat> excuse me. So the next thing that I I use is a leave-in um, a leave-in spray or a leave-in moisture nourishing spray or whatever they call it. Um, <clears throat> you can get these anywhere, dark stores, whatever. Um, and I only do from about where my chin is at all the way down. And I focus and I drench, drench my ends, like literally, like, and this is, this is the results of them. It's nice and more manageable. And I notice that I have a less static and, um, <clears throat> my hair gets really staticky in the winter time. It's not like a frizzy thing. It's more static. Um, cause it cleans to like my face and to things. And I just, I can't stand my hair being staticky. So like, I have to have that to kind of like weigh it down so it doesn't go crazy on me. And it, I think it's because of like, if you're in like, you know, where, you know, you're, the heat is running all, ran all the time. And then, you know, you go outside and you go back in, it, 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 it causes your hair to freak out a lot. Um, just from the craziness of it all. <clears throat> um, so the next thing that I actually do is and I do this like once a month. A lot of people probably don't have to do this once a month. You could probably go like once every like three, four months if you want to, or once every other month. But I deep cleanse my hair and it, I have noticed that since I've been doing this and this is a little bit more of a kind of, um, a more of a, it, it takes a little bit longer time to deep cleanse, but it's well worth it in the end. So <clears throat> I actually learned this from a friend of mine who had dreadlocks and he cleaned his hair every three months. Um, he did this every three months and it was for his dreadlocks. And um, he said that you can do it with your normal hair if you want. It's not just for like dread people with dreads, but he like will like lay like on his counter, which I thought that was really, 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 really crazy when I first seen him do this. And he literally like had those double sinks, you know, the metal double sinks and he would fill up like really, really warm water and he would put baking soda and, um, a squeeze like half a lemon and, um, and, um, apple cider vinegar he mixed all of that together and he would lay there for 30 minutes and just sit there and so I mean I would normally do it I do it in the bathtub like where I but I make a bigger concentrated sort of thing out of it um and it also deep cleanses your body if you do it that way and you just sit there for 30 minutes and you just lay in the water or you lay your head in the water and it literally deep cleanses your hair and your hair is just so amazing afterwards and then what you do is you if you want to you can shower and wash your hair you know like with your normal shampoo and conditioner because if you believe it or not your shampoo and conditioners can build up a lot of product and which is really crazy because you wouldn't think it since you're washing your hair but it really does like all the products that you have in your hair you know styling products and things like that as well um so it's so much easier just to do that kind of rinse like one you can do it like once a month and like i said shampoo afterwards and then rinse with um apple cider vinegar as well and it works 
so good and it makes my hair like literally i can go a whole week afterwards and not shower like wash my hair i mean i do shower but you know like i don't have to wash my hair because the oil is completely gone and it doesn't i mean like literally it does not like come back for like a week and it's amazing and i like it i i would do it once a week if i could but i don't want to because like i hear it's just like really bad for like you in general i know I know. <laughs> so, I mean, you could definitely do that if you want. Um, and I haven't done it recently. It's been like a good six months since I've done, last did it, which was like right before the summer started. So I need to do it again because it is really needing it really, really bad. So yeah. Um, let's see. I'm trying to think what else I do. Oh, I do um, do a deep oil you know, deep coconut oil treatment to my hair every week. Um, once a week I do it. And what I do is I just do my oil in here and then whatever's left on my hands, I just kind of go over <coughs> on the top of my head and then I like kind of massage it. And then I just let it sit overnight. Um, a lot of people say, well, what if I don't have overnight? I would recommend at least six hours before you rinse it out because it has to sit there and penetrate your hair strands if that makes sense so other things that like i do like especially during the time of when i dye my hair i do have a bleak, like i do have like a video about ombre and, and i do talk about it so if you want to go to that video it's just called i ombre my hair or something like that and you can go and check that out and i and i do mention like how i took care of it during that time if you want to um watch that video go to my channel and or go scroll down in my channel and you can find it i i like uploaded it a couple of weeks ago so it should be there um somewhere 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 in, in on my channel um and and then some other tips and stuff is you can definitely like start working out eating healthy taking vitamins i don't do any of this i used to take um biotin which i'm actually thinking about getting back on because biotin really helped my hair grow it really helped my hair just in my nails and my skin just just it just did a lot of stuff for my hair that i was just a really amazing thing and i really want to start doing it or start back doing it uh or getting back on them because like i really i really had success with it and um i think out of everything that i've ever done um i don't do any more like growth aids or anything like that you're more than welcome to do that if you want to like make your hair grow longer this is just a hair care routine you know video of what i do um i just call it my lazy hair care routine because literally like throughout the week and like all that i just wash it and brush it oh and when i brush like start from your ends and work your way up and like literally only brush once a day just because i feel like i don't need to brush anymore because i have my fingers to brush through my ends and i only brush through my ends i don't brush through the top of my hair so like if you see me through this video do that that's what i'm doing is just like brushing it and just like getting all the knots out of the ends so that it wouldn't be as bad um as bad tangled or as tangled tangled i don't know i'm just crazy oh and if you guys want to see what the length of my hair is now um let me just show you guys real quickly um this is the length of my hair now and then this is like the back of it you want to see the back um i know a lot of people like to see the length of it for some reason i'm probably can you see it i'm one of them too as well i like to see the the back of the hair so that you can get kind of like an oh okay i see the whole hair in full effect um but yeah that's literally all i do i i don't use any kind of harsh um hair holding apparatuses i just use like regular hair ties that are cloth and don't have metal pieces on it so um sometimes i use those claw clips so so yeah um so that is it for my updated hair care video it's the lazy way or my lazy way i guess um so thanks for watching if you haven't already please subscribe to me to my channel and i will see you next time bye